And a lot of people, you know, want to tag, just get their car insurance and tag and then let their insurance fall out. You can't do that. No. You must be insured. And how many wrecks have you ever been in, uh, just a majority, seeing people that didn't even have insurance in the wreck? A bunch. Yeah. So that hurts everybody. Mm -hmm. Raises everybody's insurance premiums. Raises insurance premiums, causes trouble, and not to mention, you know, people are hurt in, at the same time. And you know, the roadways, like in summertime and people's traveling, it's going to get a little bit more hectic. It always does every, every time of year. So people need to allow themselves more time on the way to work. Yes, they can. Or uh, allow themselves more time going on vacations. Right. You know. Because even right here in Corbin, you know, people are seeming to be in a rush. You know, easing through those uh, red lights, easing through those stop signs. You know, always rush, 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 hurry, hurry, hurry. But it causes destruction. It causes people to get hurt. And that's what we need to do. We need to be, a, you know, look at our surroundings. Um, don't ever take nothing for granted. Even check your tire pressures. You know, bad tires can cause wrecks. Oh yeah, for sure. And people driving on slicks, you have a blowout, you come across into traffic, you hurt somebody innocent, you know, little things can be done. A head-on collision is one of the worst wrecks I've ever seen. One of the worst wrecks. And I've noticed on the interstate where they put up the, the cable mm -hmm. that goes from one side of the interstate to the other one so that people can't cross over. Mm -hmm. We have seen that. Uh, we would like the cable to have been pushed over about another five feet. It seems like not all the cars off the roadway on that cable. Right. But, you know, it, it saves people from going over like that. You know, what about, um, you know, road construction or things of that nature? You know, a lot of times during the summertime you see road construction going on. And people want to try to pass each other and get around that before the flag man comes up again. Or they get way too close to the flag man. Right. And I've been on the interstate once or twice where people just don't see you. Oh, yeah. I've had to jump up the guardrails to get out of the way. It's dangerous. Like I was saying before, you could be on a routine traffic stop, and you've got to keep your surroundings watching out for motors passing by you. We have the law to slow down or move over. It just it doesn't seem like people are mindful of that. We would, we would like for people to, you know, if you see us on the interstate or the parkway or anything like that, you know, try to give us some room, slow down, move over. Right. There's a lot of things you're going to be watching out for this weekend and every weekend. You're going to be watching out for people without their seat belts. You're going to be watching out for people impaired driving um, and things of that, like that. And you're going to be out in full force. Mm -hmm. You're always out in full force, but e even on the you know holiday weekends, it's even more. Mm -hmm. uh, this weekend, you know, the federal government has actually kicked in on our overtime, so we're out actually. I think each officer at our department is doing four hours of overtime of just for the seat belts and the roadblocks for the impaired and right. uh, child seats. You know, that's that's what they're, the federal government is uh, wanting us more to do is the seat belts, the child seats, and the impaired drivers. Well, we're so thankful for what you're out doing, how that you're helping the community, and we've got a lot of good information out to the people today. And just obey the rules. That's all you got to do is obey the traffic rules, obey the, the lights and the signs and things of that nature. Don't run over people. And don't be out on the road when you have no business to be out on the road. You know, things like that. But we're so thankful to have this time to visit with the Corbin Police Department, Major Rob Jones. Good to meet you, sir. Thankful for what you're doing. And this is the local and community issues and answers right here on WVT.